Now let's finish up the topology for the head. So assuming that you've got some of the outlines created for some of the main shapes that we talked about in the last lesson, now you're just going to want to fill in everything else. So you can see I've kind of outlined the ear. So then you'll just need to go in and start to fill that ear in. And as you start to work from a lot of geometry down into smaller areas, you may find yourself wanting to create some triangles. So you can do that by clicking here and then just popping that point in. You could also make that into a quad if you wanted to, but we can start to just come in and, and fill across these different areas. Okay. Here we might want to even pop that into a triangle so that we make that as optimized as possible. And then you come up in here, kind of fill this in. In some of these areas, you will have to go to, uh, from a lot of geometry, maybe to less geometry. And so you can do that simply by routing those edges into a triangle. So let's say for instance, right here, we could come in, make that into a triangle. And now we have a new quad here and then that flows across. Shift will let you kind of smooth everything out again. Maybe we can add that in. And so you just want to start kind of connecting up these different disparate shells that you have here. And eventually you'll get to the point where you've got it all filled in and working symmetrically lets you see what you're doing on both sides at the same time. And so you can really quickly sort of fill this in. You can see I've kind of filled in across the back here and you can kind of go as quickly as you want to. Again, kind of smoothing this out as you go. And then I'm going to come in here and just put points kind of at the center line. And that will enable me to get that central geometry created as well. Okay. Anywhere you have low spots and high spots, you probably want to have points that are close by just so you can get that silhouette and the shape. If there are spots where it is more open and flat, those may be areas where you don't have to have that much geometry. And so just using the tools that we talked about, continue to kind of fill things in. For instance, down here, I want to have geometry kind of in that low spot of the mouth and where it changes direction. I'll want to have a point like that, kind of putting that in the lowest spot. And then I'll have another point kind of up here at this higher spot. So we'll get that shape of that mouth in there keeping in mind that we will have normal maps for this. And so, you know, a lot of this smaller detail that we'll create that is on here and that we'll create in uh, painter, we're going to be able to get through geometry like this. And I'm just kind of following along the topology that we have again in, in areas that are really specific, focus on those maybe first, and then in areas where it doesn't need to be as specific, then you can just kind of fill in however is the most optimal method versus trying to, you know, take a, an existing topological layout and trying to make it fit with detail that you have. You can do it this way instead. Kind of route that in here. So you can see how I'm sort of closing in these specific areas, you know, and then once you've got those, it's, a little bit easier to start filling them in. You can always undo if you accidentally add something in there that's not working the way that you want. Kind of pull these points out a little bit. We know that we want to have the points in the very inner part of the mouth. And so we'll use that to kind of guide us for these other bits. And just like with the body, you can start by making a nice clean grid if you want to, and then go back later and kind of optimize in those areas that aren't as needed. So for instance, you've got the, the resolution you need here, but you may not need it down here. And so you can actually take this and start to, you know, triangulate that, make it a little bit more low res and more optimized. Now, remember this, these are the points that actually intersect with the uh, the shirt collar, I'm actually going to extend that down just a little bit. So I'm going to keep the position of the points, but I'm going to make sure that I have geometry that goes down into the collar a little bit more, kind of like that. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom. 
of the next geometry, except maybe right here where this V is. And then you'll want to kind of fill that in underneath the chin. Kind of move those wherever we need to. Kind of filling this under the, the chin here. And you can uh, come in and extrude. So we could extrude this whole part off of here, then kind of move these points where we need to. Hitting shift to clean that up. Again, taking those edge areas and kind of closing in. So now we've got this you know, spot that's closed in. We've got this spot, this spot, this spot. And then you just need to kind of slowly go in and kind of fill those in with geometry. Keeping in mind that you want it to be fairly optimized. You want to be able to get the main shapes. You want to be able to get the silhouette without having a lot of facets, without a lot of extra unneeded geometry. But again, this isn't a final product. You can always go back in and tweak things, which is uh, something really nice about this tool. All right, so you can see we're starting to get more areas closed in. You come up here and start to connect some of these areas up. And you can start to kind of work through this pretty quickly once you've get kind of the idea of the layout you want. And then, then again, you'll have areas like this. You could either, you know, add a point in here or you could add a triangle in there and kind of cut it off. So kind of up to you. I'm going to try to keep that edge at the edge of this detail that we have here, even though the smoothing wants to kind of move it. So like right here, we could have a triangle here and then kind of going across if we wanted to. Same thing here. Or you could additionally, you could add extra edges there. And then you'll want to keep extending this across. And I'll put, I'll put the, an edge right at the center, just in case we need to kind of mirror this, kind of help with symmetry, but it doesn't have to be a, a line there. So again, look at that. Another hole we're starting to close in and fill in. Same thing over here. You know, same thing here. We can start to come in and fill this across and we can decide, oh, I'm going to make this a couple of edges wide. Pop that together. And now we've got another area closed in. Another area closed in. So we're really, really close to, to filling this in. And I would take the eyes. I would take them in and maybe one more line in, but you don't have to close that in or you can close it in uh, later, but I wouldn't worry you too much about filling that in. Um, you can fill it in across and then we would just need to take it and move the geometry because I know that this high res geometry is a little bit too flat and it kind of cuts through the eye. And so we'll, we will need to modify that if you close that in. Okay, so go ahead and fill in the rest of the gaps here that you have. Again, knowing that's not going to be exactly the same as this one but using the same kind of idea where you're working on the main shapes, creating those, and then filling in the gaps between those. And then you can go back in and kind of optimize things if you need to after that. Okay, so something like that. We could have triangles here, fill that in, and we can kind of smooth that out. All right, and it can be pretty low res up here at the top because we're going to be getting a lot of detail with our maps. All right, so the next thing that we want to do, once we've got our head geometry done, uh, the next thing that we're going to work on are the eyes. And so in the next lesson, we'll have this finished and we'll come in and build some eyes for our game model. So we'll do that next.